Good morning, my friends. Welcome, Anglers, to this week's live stream. We've got with us, once again, some incredible devs to come and join our adventures. Uh, and, and well, you know, as, as with everything, each week we're doing something a little different, a little bit new, and I can't wait for you guys to see what we're up to this week. First off, we've got with us the illustrious, the infamous Mr. Rushy. How are you, kind sir? Welcome. Hello. It's great to be here again. Great to have you back. Thank you, man. I don't know how we're playing our cards right, but getting you out here is awesome. So thank you. We've also got Steven with us today. Welcome back, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome. Say hello to the folks. How are you doing? I'm good. Hello, everyone. Nice to be back. Absolute pleasure. It's nice to have you out. And oh, did I just lose screen? Nope, we're good, we're good. Okay, technical difficulties. And of course, we've got with us this week, and I'm very pleased to introduce to the community, Ben, how are you, my friend? Tell the folks who you are and what you do, please. I'm doing cracking, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, long, long time caller, first time listener. No, all around. <laughs> long yeah, one of those. I'm doing great, thank you very much. Uh, so what I am, I am a narrative designer, and if there's anything to do with story, so that can be names of stuff, that can be descriptions, that can be how things look, how things feel, how things sound. Uh, I'll be about, I'll be somewhere around that. So yeah, anything story related, that's uh, that's kind of what I dabble in. Oh, well, you're going to be very popular around here because I know a lot of folks are dying for more story. They've been enjoying it. So thank you for all of your hard work. <laughs> Can't wait to pick your brain this stream, man. This is going to be a yeah, lot of fun. Learn some secrets as well. Uh, <laughs> stuff that people don't know about. Um, oh, oh, leaks. I mean, no leaks. We're not we, like, we like our secrets here. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to get set up, guys. We're going to go jump onto a boat and go to our destination, have a little chit chat. So let's head on over here before we get into things. Uh, not a bad looking day here in the angler today. If you guys haven't been up to date on everything, make sure you've joined all of our socials. And more to the point, get into the Discord. We have an incredible competition running right now called King of the Catch. This week's target is none other than the smallmouth bass. We're going to go see if we can hook a few of those and reel you guys in. Uh, the competition is fierce. I got to warn you, it's a casual competition, but holy, the entries that have been coming out are absolutely impressive, and it's always fun to see who's going to take it. Oh, man, these boats. Okay, let me just let me just climb in here. There we go. And let me get something set up. I realized I didn't open my chat. <laughs> I'm gonna drag this across the screen. Please excuse me. Huh. Here we go. And one more to go here in a moment. Okay. So update just went out. Can we tell the folks a little bit about it? For those that haven't seen it, make sure you update your game. Um, this is kind of a cool one. This is really uh, to, to help you, the player, um, Rushy, do you want to tell them a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So yeah, went live this morning, uh, one one four. Uh, it's a small patch, really. No, no major features or, or content as or such. But again, it was a reaction to, to feedback that we're seeing in the community. It's something we wanted to, to roll out quickly. So the main thing being the the save data safeguarding. Uh, we 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 saw that some players were. Um, having problems when either having a power cut or shutting the game down at the wrong time, or if the game crashed, unfortunately, then there was a possibility that you would lose your save data. So we've added in a, a backup system, ultimately. So what happens is if, if the game does crash or power goes down or whatever it may be, and it corrupts that save data, you've now got backups, essentially. So you can always fall back to your last good save. So hopefully that means no one will ever lose save data again. That's huge. That's huge. I got to be honest. I'm, you know, being a long time PC gamer, I'm always making manual backups. Uh, but, you know, I've ran into problems with so many games. So having that in game, kudos to the team. Thank you. Uh, I guess you could call that a quality of life. <laughs> yeah, sense, more so than right? anything else. Yeah. yeah. And I believe our, our core team is still actually working on further improvements to the safe system, given some more options uh, in the long term in the future as well. So, yeah, more to, more to come on that front. Awesome. Awesome, right on. So lots to look forward to. And if you guys haven't been up to date, once again, you can see all of the improvements that have been landing here. Uh, these fine gentlemen in front of me are largely, lar have, have their hands into everything and uh, they're bringing us this these incredible updates. The change, it's changing the face of the game. Uh, if you guys 
have missed it. I know there was lots of chatter in the Discord about it. One of the most recent changes being the change to how we can fish. You now have the options. So if you're a returning player, if you just get into the game, check that out. And for those of you that have, have been with us for this incredible ride, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We've got a lot more to come. Man, they're so... With, uh, with this update, so that landed today, but little birdie told me there's more stuff on the horizon. And I don't know what we're allowed to talk about. We generally seem to have. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're going to try and touch base on some of that, my friends. I I love this. I, I don't know what it is. Going under a bridge on a boat. I, I It's such a little thing. <laughs> it really is. Oh, goodness. Hello, chat. Hello. I'm sorry. I haven't said hello to everybody yet this morning. Uh, and chat is flying across both platforms. Good to see you all. We got some of our partners in chat. Hello, Chris. How are you, my friend? Thank you, mods, for coming out and helping out today. LOA Wizard, what's up, my man? KMB's razzing me. I kind of got the gears for not really catching fish on these streams, just more talking. and <laughs> So I feel like the weight's on my shoulders this stream. <laughs> So I guarantee you'll catch more than me. I am not very good at fishing. Um, I'll be honest. <laughs> hey, no worries. We'll we'll see if we're in the right spot, if it all works. So folks, I'm using the Brass Monkey today. Uh, you can see my setup right here. We got the frog on. We are looking for the smallmouth bass. You can see where we are on the map. And if you want to get some inside skinny on what to do for the king of the catch comp, get in the Discord and pick the brains. Folks like LOA Lizard and, and KFB Wizard. Did I say Lizard? Sorry, LOA. I have, have been absolutely out there crushing it. Hey, General Art, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. All right. So, oh man, can we can we can we can we just get right into some of this stuff? Are we allowed to talk about this? The the upcoming. I've got a bite. What's that? Sorry, I've got a bite already. Do you well, she's already it? told something. I've um... just got a rainbow trout. Oh, <laughs> no, yes. not not what I'm targeting. But still, <laughs> not bad start to the stream. That's all right. That's not bad here. Let me get my line in the water. Can B is going to be all over me afterwards. <laughs> all right. So, okay, before we get into that, for those of you that missed last stream, we talked, uh, actually, we kind of went into detail on some of this. Um, and I'd, I'd love to touch base. There's a little bit of backstory that I've been given. Um, I uh, Honestly, I... Rashi, do you want to read this? Do you want to, you want to put the, you guys have had your hands in this. I think it's something that would be, I don't know if you can, you re, are, are you able to give the whole backstory or what do you think with the details on the, on our legendaries? I think this is one for Ben. Ben, it's a Ben yes. as you say, he's our, he's our story guy. And uh, he came up with these amazing backstories to the three legendary fish that we're bringing with our next update. They're quite lengthy. Do you want me to uh, give you the, the, the uh, footnotes or should I read the, uh, the entire thing? Um, oh, description, description. Give us all the okay, notes, okay, my friend. Okay. <laughs> so, first up, uh, we have a bunch of legendary fish. We have Big Larry. Um, what I wanted to kind of accomplish with this is looking at kind of these legendary fish that you see uh, in there in Sweden, they're in the UK. They always have these legends attached to them that are, uh, I think everyone knows, they're a little fantastical. They're not quite true, but they add a bit to the mystique, right? You know, it was they this all big. kind of. Yep, carry on. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, Big Larry. It uh, started the same size as just any other catfish, uh, but soon she tasted more than just hot dogs and corn. She tasted friends, relatives, <laughs> babies. She tasted more and more until non born of water could sate her. She bit hooks clean off lines, snatched planks from boat floors, polished fingers off bone and wrenched nails from toes. She bit, she licked, she crammed, she sluiced until anything missing ended her in a maw. A labeled sandwich, the last pack of Chipotle cheese chips. Even memories of where Clayton put his shoes had been swallowed by Larry. She ate on and on and on until her trails of tipples brought her to you. Can you serve her just desserts, or are you her main course? Uh, and uh, Big Larry is an incredibly large catfish uh, with uh, a little bit of residue you might see around her lips. Is it blood? Is it salt? Is it crisp dust? It's up to you. Um, <laughs> a little bit of fun. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> folks so you can see there is story behind these legendaries and i mean that's larry that's just larry uh by the way i, I gotta tell you ben you you're a natural you've got the storytelling <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need this as an audio book dude <laughs> <laughs> thankfully the uh we had the actors to to do this kind of thing maybe maybe in the future we haven't got a, a readout 
Uh, but if we think ahead of time, I'll get future wardens to to read out the tales of Big Larry, and we can get those in the game for people to listen to. That could be fun. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. But they don't have those currently. Brilliant idea. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Steve. That's the feature creep. I should. Uh, should yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? But well, I just didn't. So I'm, I'm getting a Jira. Um, so there we go. We've got Big Larry. That's the catfish, and you know, the catfish are a big allure in this game. A lot of folks are out there trying to get them, but. That's not all there is. And I think, honestly, I don't want to say it's going to be my favorite, but I'm very partial to the Lake Trout. And as we know, Sidewinder will be making an appearance. It's like Sidewinder. I love it. It's just got that sound, right? You picture, it, it puts a picture in your mind right away. And when I read the, the backstory, well, I'm going to, Ben, it's all you, buddy. I'm, I'm recording for an audio book right now. Carry on. Mm -mm. Sidewinder. <laughs> It's an exceptionally large lake trout. And uh, Sidewinder drummed up rumors as a sound before it drummed up rumors as a fish. It was a boom followed by ripples, followed by stillness. King fishermen would say they saw a blur, look down with their bait clean gone. And now, those days are too. Sidewinder was the pinnacle of speed and with that he found success. But with success come, comes cold, hard calories. Now Sidewinder is a behemoth-sized whopper with an uncharacteristic breakneck speed to boot. Even if he can't quite reach the same barrier, he used to shatter to pieces. Um, and spe uh, speedy, speedy looking sidewinder. Uh, he's a huge, huge lake trout with a big old racing stripe in the center of his nose. Um, and just to, to back that up as well, we announced it last, uh, last week on the stream, but all of these legendaries are going to have special traits as well. Uh, so, you know, we got these stories, but that will come through in how they fight, I hope. Uh, so, you know, if you read up about them, hopefully that'll give you a bit of a clue what to expect when you fight them. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, we'll see. Very nice. Oh, I got something about to attack here. I'm getting nothing. I think I'm going to recast. I'm, Cut line. I'm. Oh no. Oh no. I've got no strike. Oh no. Is this the same issue we were having last I, week? The week before. Yes. Yes. Mm. I think I'm getting that error where they forget to put fish in the game. Uh, I'm just not getting anything. Oh, it's weird. I weird, mean, this weird bug. That's, ne that's never at, been a bug. <laughs> look at this lunker, too, right in front. Get your line down to this. Oh, you won't be able to see him. Ah, oh, dang it. Man, did they catch Sidewinder? Well, so there's a little bit of backstory on him, and we'll see what happens with it. But I'm just really excited about these legendary fish. And, you know... Being able to get Ben himself in here and being able to, because I mean, he's had his hand in the story. You guys can tell how passionate he is about this. Having this kind of info on it, I mean, it's just, it's exciting. It really, really is. Now, we don't have a date yet, my friends. As I saw some in chat, we don't have a date yet on when that's going to land when you'll be able to reel it in on your on your pcs but um you know when we when we do we'll definitely be sharing that so make sure you're following on the socials i'm gonna try this one more time maybe let's see and uh, one thing to chat about as well uh, if you are uh, checking the game currently and having a look at some of the notes you'll hear a load of legendary fish mentioned as kind of world building for maybe for future reserves so i have we have been thinking about the legendary fish for a while and when i went to write all the the notes and collectibles. If you're a bit of a story hound, uh, you'll see rumors of a very, very special, big legendary fish that hopefully we can, you know, can bring to a reserve near you sometime in the future. But uh, that isn't uh, Big Larry Goldstein or uh, or the Sidewinder. Um, uh, yeah, I'm. I think I need to change up my approach here. I'm not getting anything. I'm glitched, hmm. unfortunately. I'm getting stuff, just not a uh, not any small map, unfortunately. Are there any any plans on potential ice fishing? Well, sperm, that's a, a great question. It's something we've talked about uh, a fair bit, or actually over the last number of streams. Everything is possible right now. What do I mean by that? The community voice is really a driving force for us. So uh, in the Discord, in the suggestions forums, get in there and you'll probably see that. I, in fact, I know for a fact it's there. Um, you can add to that discussion, upvote. We go in and we take a look and, and by just a, a quick skim, we can see the most popular requests uh, and suggestions for the game. So make sure to do so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as far as, you know, anyone here... Uh, although these would be the gentlemen to confirm it. <laughs> There's nothing that they could confirm to that point, unfortunately. 
Yeah, fly fishing, I know. I see all the all the requests coming through. We do get quite a few of those, hey boys? We see it a lot in Discord. Yeah, I mean, fly fishing, bottom fishing, we see, you know, tons of different techniques of what people want, and we are looking and starting to work on new techniques. So this isn't something that we're going to see anytime soon, and I can't promise any specific uh, techniques, but we are working on improving the roster of things you can do inside the game. So expect more details on that in in the new year excellent awesome so there's something to look forward to now before we get too far away from this we got to finish this my friends because this one i mean it's somewhat specific although we are on the small mouth at the moment we do have another legendary as you all know goldstein the largemouth bass ben i'm looking at you buddy <laughs> thank you very much so before Goldstein was Goldstein, he was one half of a school of two. He said that those who spawn together stay together, but in this case, they couldn't swim together forever. Some fishermen say it started with a glint in his eye they could see from the shore. Others claim they saw Goldstein applying a little seasoning to his partner between strokes. Either way, he was soon found sailing solo, with a little extra weight to show for his heartbreak. What followed was a plethora of potential partners of all shapes and sizes, but the first cut was the deepest, and their first fight would spell to be their last. A good mate's hard to find, but a decent meal is easy, and before long, Goldstein had developed a real taste for love. None would prove to be as nutritious as his first, but as they say, there's plenty more fish in the freshwater. Goldstein has no intention of giving up, no matter how big he gets. Uh, and he is a huge large merge bath with a love heart marking. He's a Casanova who constantly eats all of his mates, and uh, if you manage to catch him, you'll be catching about 100 other fish too. So 100 fish worth of uh, food anyway for Goldstein. Uh, so that's pretty fun that is very cool <laughs> i think he's gonna be a lot of fun but, uh, you know bass are extremely popular targets um in fact i can't wait for the king of the catch to land on the large mouth it's gonna be a lot of fun but seeing the uh you know these legendaries coming it's very very cool do you know what i i'm wondering if i should maybe do a restart um if just... you're having trouble yeah, yeah getting any bites um or the strike then definitely I'd, I'd say switch it up maybe just double check your your accessibility settings and just to check to see what you've got enabled or disabled in regards to like the the strike messaging and the audio just make sure they're set up correctly first yeah i got my you... i've got them both turned off um, okay i don't have and i checked my key bindings and i just i reapplied it as well but um I'm going to, uh, folks, I'm just going to go to a black screen. I'm going to jump back in with these fine folks, but give me a minute here. So while I do this, um, actually, maybe maybe just to the to the main screen might be enough rather than going to my desktop. Um, I don't I don't I don't think we've really announced this next one yet. So um, I don't know, Rushy, if yourself or if Steven, if you guys want to tell the folks what's uh, coming up very, very soon that they can expect to see, and I could maybe show a little bit of that. Ah, yes, you're talking about the upcoming free tackle pack. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We, we want it. Yeah, I mean, this is something as a thanks to the community. We've, you know, we've, we've seen all your feedback, and it's really helped kind of shape the game uh, and where we're going in the future. So we wanted to add a, a special, really special set of rods and reels uh, to use in the game, and they'll be added to the game some point this week, potentially. Oh. Or is it next week? I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> date. I can't, can never mention dates, but it's, it is very soon. Just around the corner, we'll be adding them to the game. You better download them for free on Steam, Epic, and, and Windows. Um, and when when Jack actually gets back on the stream in the game, he can hopefully show you them because he should have them in his inventory ready to show off. Um, yep. And again, maybe maybe Ben wants to give a little bit of a backstory behind these as well because we, our artists um, have done a fantastic job of realizing oh, these. And hopefully, when Jaxie shows them, you'll you'll see just these are some of the best looking rods in the game. I see what you did there, by the way. Realizing these, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> clever, clever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Stephen. Give us a little bit of backstory on it, my friend. I think it'll be better for the actual backstory of the rods because he's the he's the story man. Um, but we've been working on them for a while, uh, and they've came through. And I think all oh, the entire team's done a fantastic job. Like they look gorgeous. Uh, they look like completely different to anything we've got currently as well. So you can expect a bit of variety there as well. 
Um, and you can also just show off your bling as well if you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, these are some of the nicest looking rods I think we have in the game. I really love them. Uh, like first up, you got the uh, the Gilgamesh, uh, which is comes in three different varieties: in rosewood, bakote, and walnut. Um, and that is the kind of top level, most expensive. Well, in the game world, it's the most expensive. Uh, I don't think that's how it's working with how we're setting out the content. Uh, but you know, within the fiction, I guess it's the most expensive uh, rod, kind of the most premium one in the Perkinkins. Uh, the, the Perkinkins kind of line who would do the antique rods. So it's a really, really kind of old school, lovely looking rod. Um, and it's got kind of a lot, a lot of carvings and engravings on it. It looks super, super nice. Oh, I, uh, hopefully we'll get to share them on stream because it is a beauty. I'm a really big fan of it. We are absolutely going to now. I'm going to run up to the store here. God, I love those fires. I don't know what it is. Every time I see them, they just grab my eye. All right, folks. So we're going to show you these now. Um, they're, they really have, I, I, I have to give kudos to our artists. They've done just such a fantastic job. It's the, you know, the devil's in the details, as they like to say. It really is the details, I think, that has uh, made such an incredible, incredible, well, here it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Gilgamesh. Um, it's just, just such an interesting look with this. Uh, a lot of our creators will appreciate this right now, getting this this clear image like this. Um, they are for bait casting, and uh, it's it really is something else. There's there's a variety three, I believe you said it was Ben. It's three. Yeah, right? there's three, uh, three different trims basically: the bakote, the walnut, and the rosewood uh, just, on the on the Gilgamesh. They're just absolutely beautiful. Now, where is my uh, where's the Neba? Nebuchadnezzar, because that's the uh, the real the matching reel that goes along with it. The real thing, yes. And let me head in here. Look at this, my friends. This is what when I saw this, I look at the engravings that are across these. Look how fancy and sharp and eye catching that is. Somebody had a lot of fun designing this. I will say, like I th I think that the uh, I think that's my favorite one. With that gold inlay trim, right? Um, but then look at the bait casters. Look at this. Look at this, my friends. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's a tough one. I think that's it right there on the lurcher, the uh the middle one. So what 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 were these uh sorry, the the actual materials you said they were maple? One of them was maple. Oh yeah, rosewood, bakote rosewood. and walnut on the Gilgamesh. Uh, and you just mentioned the Whippet and the Lurch there as well. Yes. They have some uh, slightly different spins on them. Uh, so they're from the right rod brand who do kind of like um, very kind of like working class blue collar English rods. Okay. Uh, and the Whippet itself is from the part of the world that I'm from up in Northumberland near, uh, oh. near Newcastle upon Tyne. Uh, and that has three different kind of uh, parts of the countryside where I'm from and different tartans associated with them as well that you get the colors from. So something close to my heart as well from the whippet racing of my of my youth. Wow. Um, These are gorgeous. They really are. Well, well done. That's uh, that is something else. But I cannot find where's the Nebuchadnezzar. Under your bait casting. Oh, rods? sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, oh man, I'm a little scattered. I was already looking at the Nebuchadnezzar. I'm, I'm, I've got to have my cheat sheet up here. <laughs> but there we go. Did I manage to get back into the server with you guys? I believe. Oh, Ooh, I've not actually checked to see if you, you're with us. Where, where are you right now? Because we're all still on the boat. Yeah, you're on the boat. I'm back at the main lodge. No, I don't think I did. I did join off you, but. You guys might be full. That's the only edge case we've got right now. Obviously, um, the game's quite quite busy at the moment. We've got that that sale running on on Steam with thirty four percent off, and we've seen a lot of new players. So we've seen a lot of new a lot of uh, full servers too. So oh, yes. the only edge case we've got right now is when you join on a friend. If uh, if the server's full, it will join you into another server. Now that's something we want to improve down the line. We've got. Uh, fixes improvements coming in for messaging to let you know that if if it's full it will tell you rather than just putting you another server so you know you won't be joining them in that instance but we are also investigating and looking at uh kind of parties or groups where you can kind of buddy up with with friends and then you can move between uh, servers and things together 
Um, so you, you know, it's always 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 nice and easy to get into the same session ultimately. So that's yeah, that's nice all stuff course. coming down the line. Oh, nice, he's nice. just going now. Exactly. There we go. Now it's showing. Yeah, they are quite busy. I've noticed that the servers have been. I mean, especially with as you say, with the sale going on right now. Uh, you know, if you guys chat, if you haven't picked it up yet, I know a lot of you have, maybe your friends haven't, you might want to direct them over there. It's, uh, I think I saw it was like 15 pounds or something. Great smash deal, but it has really brought a lot of folks in here, uh, which is great. Okay, I can actually fast travel pretty close to you guys and I'll just go to the shore. See yeah, we've seen a lot of new players joining us over the past few days, which has been fantastic. Looking forward to the to the weekend as well. Well, hopefully, we'll see lots of uh, fresh faces playing the game. Yeah, it's pretty neat actually. When you start to um, like every now and then, I'll see some of our folks from Discord in there as I bounce it around and getting in the reserve. It's always cool. You get a chance to wave at everybody. <laughs> now that we have uh, these incredible emos, oh, I can go right on the bridge and see you guys. This would be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> A trophy room for your big fish. So that is something that has been talked about a lot here on stream. In fact, Reshi himself ha has addressed it. Always a consideration possible in the future down the line. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, it's, uh, oh my, I must be lagging. <laughs> you guys see me on the shore? Hold on one second. I need to. I'm just going to cut line. Turn around. Oh, there you are. Yep. Yep. Hello. Should we drive the boat over to you? I, if you could, if you want to come on in, yeah. All, all I can see let's, is the lines. <laughs> let's go and pick you up. That's awesome. Uh, Average Nick, how you doing, my man? Welcome. Good to see you, CJO. Hello, my friend. BZ Hub, what's up, brother? So much like any game, um, connections a thing, and my connection clearly is not the best at the moment. I can see. Uh, I'm hoping the stream's going okay, but I do see I'm. Drop in a few packets, which means I have a little struggle this morning. Apologies, my friends. Very nice. All right, let's see what happens here. Got the rushy. I got everything with me here today. <laughs> That's right. Let's give her a go. It's very common. That, yes, uh, Skenya, that would be, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, wrong, Rushy, but when you're not seeing the people around you, it's it's a desync with the server, right? That's a, a connection issue. What if, if there's nobody in the session whatsoever? Um, well, like right now, I just can't see you folks next to me. Oh, oh we can see you. Oh, right. Can you? Yeah, yeah. we can see you just fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a desync on my nice time. But well, we all look really cool, and we got our new rods um, <laughs> that no one else does. Exclusives. <laughs> I got a, um, got a fish tried to grab me, but I'm still, I'm, I'm still, yeah. unfortunately. And I can't see you guys now. I'm having a great morning. Let's talk about new map. Well, there's not really much we can tell you about the new map. There are some teasers out there. Um, there's some hints and games, and some more obvious teasers that. Uh, <laughs> but not, not a lot we can really put out at the moment but uh, we're getting there we're getting closer my friends i don't really think there's much we can say about that is there rush not not a great deal no. um you know this this next reserve uh we're really looking forward to to, to releasing it because it's got you know a whole new selection of fish species which what's that behind you steve i can I can see. I, don't know what talking about. Like, uh, I can't see what <laughs> it might be a few pixels, but maybe maybe some people can do some sleuthing and try and uh, work out what some of those fish are. But yes, we've got a, a you know a new selection of fish species coming to the game. Uh, and we're excited for people to start catching them soon as well. Um, we can't say when this update is coming, but we're not not too far away. Hopefully. I, I can see chat starting to figure it out. LOA has oh, got it. <laughs> Sorry? I just got a diamond rainbow trout. Oh, did you I'm... really? Nice. Really? Oh, yeah. man. I, I got a strike, and then I was too busy looking at chat. and uh, missed it. <laughs> It's a trap. It's a trap. I do that often. Yeah. It was obviously a diamond. Um... This is the power of the new rods. 
Very nice. <laughs> yep, yep, very true. It's a diamond, baby. That's right, Sway. <laughs> Looks like a cod or a burbot. I don't know. Mm. Interesting. Ooh, could be. <laughs> oh, cheeky, cheeky. I'll tell you, that's... <laughs> but Chad's figuring it out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. strike. So oh, very good. That was off the hook. I guess you could have my face plastered around everywhere now, trying to get these images. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, with my girlfriend's pink chair as well. Can we get that in the shot at least if you're going to screen grab this? Next time we'll have um, devs doing face tattoos and things. And people oh. Try and work out. <laughs> oh, oh. Face what tattoos are going to be. Subliminal messaging. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, right. Well, even if they can't figure it out, I'm sure they don't have too long to wait, right? So it will be all revealed yeah. in good time. Um, oh, stop mm -hmm. feature creep, man. God. <laughs> oh, we're still going to release the reserve first, Steve. I'm not, not promising them anything we're not going to do. Well, this is true. The, you know, the little hints like that. It's, it's, we're close, but not how close we can't tell you. Yeah, and that, that next update, which is which is close, you know, which will have the legendary fish. There's also uh, a bunch of quality of life updates and changes that come along with it as well. So some just little tweaks and some bigger things. I can maybe hint at a couple. I know that a lot of people want to know what time of day it is at the moment in game. You've got no idea other than trying to work it out based upon the sun and you know how dark it is or how light it is. But we're adding that data uh, information now to the map. So you'll be able to know just by hitting M or, or the or the view button on Xbox pads and stuff to, to bring it up and have a quick look, find out what time it is. Um, a few people have also asked about uh, the ability to toggle the flashlight on and off. We're adding that as well. So you'll be able to, uh, at, at your will, turn it on and off. It will come on automatically when it gets dark. But again, you can choose to turn it off now. So again, we're just we're trying to listen to all these little improvements and um, just keep improving the kind of quality of life for everyone so you know again keep the feedback coming and these are the sorts of changes we'll try and reach update along with those bigger features just keep making those tweaks and uh, additions to the game and now just to clarify what you're talking about here this is a a game update this isn't what you're talking about with the the next <clears throat> teased reserve this is something before no, that this uh Again, timings. <laughs> I don't want to say anything on timings, um, but they're all you know they're all pretty close. Let's say um, so. You know, there's a, a lot of good stuff to come. Uh, December's going to be pretty busy, I think, for for the angling community, which is which is going to be fun. That's awesome because a lot of people get time off in December, so that gives us time to delve into things. <laughs> Fantastic. Man, I'm not even sure that we can cover any of that. Jeez. So, more importantly, folks, if you're just tuning in, uh, what we've we've covered here today is we've we've talked a little bit about uh, the update that just went out. If you missed it, which was uh, actually a big quality of life, it's to help our folks with their saves to ensure you don't lose any progress. Um, but on top of that, we're, we we started talking about the next update. God. I gotta be careful on how I say these things. The next update that is coming very soon, you said maybe this week, possibly next. Uh, and those were the new rods and reels, the new tackle pack that uh, will be free to, to all of our players as a big thank you to the community. Uh, I, I, you know, I personally, I, I, I'm still a little stunned at how great, especially those reels with all the engravings look. And if you missed it, we'll try and show it off before we're, we're done here yet again. Uh, but, you know, of course, you can always go back and check the ads afterwards as well. Man. Uh, when will this be on PS4? Well, quite frankly, my friends, uh, I, we, we try to uh, communicate it as often as we can. Um, console development is full and well underway, uh, making great progress. But we, we don't, we can't share anything before we have anything concrete as we, we don't want to make any broken promises. So what we can tell you is that the console is fully in development. Uh, it's looking really good. It's coming along great. And, uh, but we don't, we do not have unfortunately any solid dates to share with you right now. So stay tuned. And as soon as we do, we will share that. 
Yeah, that's right. It work is well underway, and um, I'm hoping to um, hopefully show off some footage from from one of the consoles in the in the near future as well, just so we can give you an update as to as to where we're up to with the development. Excellent, excellent. I've got one. I've got one. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's going to be huge. Oh, look, at the, look at the size of that. Whoa. <laughs> Donk it. Legendary. <laughs> Legendary juvenile. They're my favorite. I got to tell you, when I go through the Discord and I see people with the trophy shots and they, they got the screen, they're holding their little juvenile up and <laughs> surrounded by diamonds. I think it's the best. I need to put that one in for King of the Cash. I'm coming for you. Um... <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I do apologize. There's. Uh, apologize. I'm, I I can't see you boys. I I can't reel at the moment. I'm having issues. I do see I have a Windows update, and these sorts of things seem to happen to me in multiple games when I have window updates. Uh, but I still do not have my strike. Of course, as soon as I put my line in, Fisher at it. They they want it. <laughs> oh goodness. Right. Well, what do you think, gentlemen? Um, with the direction of where we're heading, I, I I have to say I'm I'm. It's been a pleasure to be a part of everything thus far. I mean, you guys are crushing it. I, update after update, patch after patch, um, surprise content like this this tackle pack coming out, um, and and coming out in in like it's just one after another. You know, what do we think? Is this is this a pace that, that we can continue to keep up? Like, what do we look forward to in the, in the years to come? I mean, obviously, we you know, we, we, we want to say that we're, we're committed to this game for the long term. You know, we're here to um, continue to add more content, more features, and um, keep those community requests coming so we can improve the game. Um, will, will it keep the same pace? I can't make any promises. Uh, but we do want to make sure that we're we're kind of hitting all the all the right things. That, I think that's the focus for the future is making sure we've got the right quality and, and the right big ticket items. Like there's lots of things that people are talking about, which are great ideas, but they take time to make. So we do we do want to make you know investments in those areas and uh, bring some of those features to life. But they will come down the line. Um, where I think a lot of the the little bits of feedback or these all these changes and additional options and things we're adding. Um, they can come in, obviously, but sooner and earlier. We're, uh, yeah, we're going to try and roll out as many as we can, as often as we can. Um, but yeah, just <laughs> don't expect a week, <laughs> an update every week. But uh, we'll try to keep up the pace, you know, reasonably well. I think at the very least, we can say that um, if it's a community requested feature and it's not something which takes too much time on our end, then we'll we'll look to get that out as soon as possible, uh, as quickly as we can. And we've seen that. Yeah, you, you guys have been good- doing that. Yeah, a good, a good example is the save data issue. You know, that was with the patch today. Um, we could have, you know, left that for the for the next big patch with legendary fishing over content, but we wanted to make sure that anyone that was affected or you know having problems with this, we get out as soon as possible. So, just trying to trying to be reactive and you know meet meet everyone's needs as soon as possible. Yeah, we've we've seen that a few times already because we've had the hot patch, hot hot fix a few times because we've released the patch and then there's been unfortunately like a bug which has slipped through and and we've instantly been able to react to it like the next day or two. So it's it's really good that we're able to get that feedback instantly for stuff which is like game breaking, which is good. This fish is taking me for uh, taking me for miles. I think I've uh, I think I started at twenty five meters and it's got up to about sixty. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to stop my line soon. I've got something big on the line as well. I almost got spilled out, but I'm finally starting to work it and tire it out now. Give it another couple of minutes, I think I'll have it. Speaking of which, we're actually adding some more more details to the reward screen so you can actually track uh, additional data because I think one of the requests recently was to uh, have the duration. How long was that fight? Uh, so that's definitely going on to the reward screen. Oh, wow. uh, along with a few other bits of details as well. So, yeah, in the next update, uh, some improvements there. And oh, there we go. Northern Pike, four and a half kilograms. Very nice. It's not bad at all. Not no, bad at all. Bad. Uh, that's actually really exciting news. I don't want that to slip under the wire. So what, what we're talking about here is you will now be able to see the length of time 
uh, added to your 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 trophy when you catch it you'll be able so, to see yeah it. that's right the duration of time along with um the username as well so for when you're running all these competitions and things people can just uh, take that screenshot and it will have all the information on there that you need then to you know just the best catch very nice very nice indeed wow <laughs> more player customization how about beards yes mike strong um we can waylay them while they're all sitting here right now when are beards coming to the game i i would like to know <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully it's one of those things we can add but it, you know customization is an area that we want to continue to yeah. you know add more options to and we do have more content coming um i think if you if you're able to see us now, you might see us in some 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 new new clothing items, which are being added to the game again for free. So you'll be able to you know check out um, a few new pieces of gear. Um, our, our new warden in the next reserve, which I shall not name, uh, also has a beard, and uh, oh. maybe maybe that's something we can add to our customization options as well down the line. So. Apologies, I didn't, I didn't mean to waylay you like that, but you know, it's, just, it's, it's always my request. Beards and games are a must. <laughs> We've got a lot of beards on the team, so we need some representation in the game, obviously. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is true. Oh, man. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I do see there's been a lot of chatter, especially with the smallmouth bass being the king of the catch. Um, let me tell you, my friends, that yes, there there is, as we've talked about before, certain gear that works better, uh, certain things that you need to catch certain fish. But then talking about that score, and we've talked about this recently, we've this has been put out there. It's not about the biggest, best gear for every fish. You do need those big rods for certain species, but some you want to go for what you can just catch it on to get that big, big score. So I saw that coming up. I just wanted to touch base on it real quick. Uh, I think that, you know, that's that's the sort of information that we picked up here on these live streams from having these folks. So uh, it's it's pretty cool that it's set up that way. Um, from a design perspective, I mean, again, I've, I've given the big round of applause to that one. But it gives us something to really push for, right? Uh, yeah, see. and um, that's, it's always an area as well which will continue to tune and iterate because we recognize it's it's an important part of um the, the catch is getting that kind of that, that final score uh, to kind of rank and grade you so um i think people are definitely going to be fighting to get the best scores with the with the legendaries as, as they come out um but definitely we're kind of monitoring people's scores and stuff on the back end and uh we'll continue to tweak it and balance it over time excellent excellent yes hosen they were we did show the reels. Um, I should maybe do that one more time. I think I have to go to my storage. I had and I don't have it all in my backpack. I I do have the Gilgamesh with me. Uh, if you guys missed that, once again, I you know can't wait to see what the community does with this stuff. And and because I know which rods have become favorites. I I, I leaned. I crutched on the Rushy quite a bit. Um, but then you know little inside skinny giving me some heads up on different setups and uh, i found i've been using this one a lot more but being able to get the gilgamesh out there um the different reels do i have it i don't think i have it with me um i can't see you gentlemen anyways i'm gonna go back to the outpost one more time to show these folks in case they missed it this is the free tackle pack that is about to land uh well as she says very soon we don't have an exact date for you um uh, but you can look forward to this. I just, this honestly, again, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but our artists have outdone themselves. Check out the Nebuchadnezzar. I just think that uh, it's the lighting and everything that they've played on here. It just makes it pop. It looks so incredibly good. But then if you get into the lurcher, like uh, lurker or lurcher, is it lurker? Lurcher. It is a uh, type of dog, uh, much like oh. a whippet. Oh, the, okay, uh, okay. And you can see, uh, if you look uh, closely on kind of the uh, the pattern on it, you'll see uh, that very same dog on the reel. Oh, very cool. And the uh, you'll notice as well, uh, we, the artist did a fantastic job uh, taking my my whimsy, uh, but the the kind of the the way the reel shaped looks a bit like a dog's ears as well. 
Um, so it's very much kind of like a, a fashioned after a whippet, which is kind of like a poor man's uh, racehorse slash greyhound kind of deal. Um, yeah, my, my family actually had whippets and greyhounds. Oh, growing up. fantastic. Yeah. Oh, they're lovely ducks. I they do love them. They used to yeah. race them back in uh, just outside of Belfast, in fact. So. No way. Oh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah kind of neat so we, having that something like that with that kind of context in game is very cool i can't i can't stop looking at these i have to say i think what do you think chat i think this one's my favorite it just pops on the lurcher the uh the, I, I, for me it's the middle one if you guys are looking at the screen um and seeing that wood grain and those engravings and oh man it is very nice yes chat i agree it really is uh, but, and, and this is all part of the free tackle pack coming in. If you missed it earlier, uh, you have something really to look forward to. Uh, I can't wait to see what everybody does. I really can't. Look at the difference. Oh, I love that. And like the tartan almost kind of. That's awesome. So that's, uh, oh, right on the end. You're right. That's the dog head. That is so cool. Love it. Yeah, hope, hopefully in the future we can add a, a 3D kind of model viewer because it's one of the things that we've always wanted to get in because the detail on some of these rods is it's fantastic. And you know the, the 2D thumbnails are great and everything, but the ability to actually you know get it full screen and check it out in detail, I'd love to be able to add that uh, in the future as well because, yeah, it'd be good to kind of show them off a bit more. Yeah, what a great ad that would be. That That's just gorgeous. But, you know, having the ability to see it like this is is nice, too. I can tell you from a, from a creator standpoint, being able to take something like this and then you can use Photoshop, cut it out, uh, and use it on thumbnails. I know a lot of our creators have been doing that. <laughs> and does mastery help 100% then, say, 25%? Hmm, I don't think we've ever really delved into the mastery too much other than that uh, you know you do have the ability to up your mastery as you use it and, and earn XP with that gear. Um, is there is there something we can tell the folks any any detail about the mastery or I guess we pretty much have it in hand, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything to necessarily add to how the system works. You know, ultimately, as you master um, the gear more, then you'll earn more XP and earn more money ultimately. Uh, but it is an area that we we recognize that it, we could do more with, um, you know, add more value to to mastering each of the rods. Um, I think we've we've changed some of the values. I think on the on the upcoming rods, I think there's a, a bit more uh, effort to 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 get through the um, the mastery for each of them. But we, I think we do want to add rewards and other kind of more meaningful um, changes other than just giving you XP. Again, that's not something we've we've locked in for the next update or anything along those lines, but there are certainly things we're, we're discussing. Again, listening to feedback and trying to work out where we can improve existing systems. Very nice. There you go. So there you go, my friends. I mean, I know mastery has been a big topic of conversation. Um, there's a little bit of backstory there for you. You get a bit of an idea on, on, on what you do. Like if you master ride, you're able to cast 25% farther. No, that's not something that's currently a thing with it that's an interesting suggestion mm, that's a decent idea actually I yeah like that one. yeah yeah yuletide make sure to uh get that into the discord into the suggestions start a, a thread that's, i don't think that's I've the best that place it. yeah because we use that discord a lot the suggestions board is fantastic because you can upvote the best suggestions and the ones that rise to the top that are the ones that we see more and we know that, you know, a lot of people want, so it's definitely something we can kind of easily flag the most popular requests. And on the uh, kind of subject of getting requests in as well, uh, we'd love to hear with these new rods and tackle coming out, um, what you think of them. Like, they're definitely a bit of a break than what we have in the game. They're a lot more ostentatious, a lot more luxury. Uh, maybe you don't like that. Maybe you prefer us to stay a little bit more restricted with the rods to stick to what we have. Let us know, uh, because we'll be making, hopefully, I mean, we'll be making more rods, more tackle going forward, no promises, but I'd like to think we will be. Um, and uh, how uh, how show-offy or how nice or how uh, restricted they are can cannot be down to you. So if you're listening a bit more demure, then uh, please let us know. But uh, I personally like a, a little bit of a showy kind of, sh you know, northern Sherlock Holmes-looking rod, uh, which is what we have from the Whippet. 
I, I'm glad you got your hands in that because I have to say that I very much like that too. Having having yeah. some character to the equipment makes you want to use it. The downside is you want to use it for everything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, is there a chance to get rod stands for shore fishing? There is certainly a chance. And again, that comes down to you, the community, and your voice. Use the Discord. Use the suggestion channel. And we'll see what we can do with it. Oh, there, I see the folks are talking over on, on YouTube. They're, they're talking about the background. They're trying to figure out the fish. <laughs> Is that the only clue you guys see? I mean, it could be. It could be a clue. It could be a hint. Yeah. I'm coming in here in force. Let's see. I'm hoping that I've resolved my connection issues. I've shut everything unnecessary down, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm still I'm still having some issues, my apologies. But uh that's, you know, the internet here. I was a little concerned even uh, for those of you uh, actually Clinton, you'll feel my pain. We had a huge dump of snow here last night and where I live, we don't really get snow. I know that sounds strange being in Canada, uh, but a lot of places were out of power and I wasn't even sure I was going to have internet this morning. So, it's a bonus <laughs> that we're here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Shepherd's Pie, everyone's entitled to opinion. Absolutely, my friend. But uh, it's a course of development and, and things take time uh, and you can't just hold up everybody who can't work on that one specific thing. Uh, you know, obviously, you're entitled to your opinion, my friend. Uh, it has been a big focus to get console moving. Absolutely. Uh, and that started, that, that drive for console started uh, very shortly after launch here on PC. Uh, that's just a development process. But during yeah. that... The game needs to continue to develop and you know as you can see with all the patches and 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 all the additions and changes um you know these things yeah. all still need to happen exactly and and the way that console development works is that you've got quite specific people on there you haven't got gameplay coders and artists and those types of people working on the console build because you don't need that you need people who can do the back end the rendering the systems etc and they're not working on on the pc version at all because that stuff is all sorted they're all dedicated just working on console so the resources working on these patches and these updates uh, you, know, you know more fish species new reserves um new features etc that does not impact the console development at all because we've got the people who we need on that console project and they're working as hard as they can to get it out as soon as they can very well said very well said i know these things are aren't just common knowledge um you know to the average gamer it's a development process and how the companies themselves work so thank you rushy that's actually that's a really good explanation better than what i could have said very good is oh, is last gen included for console that that's that's i mean Devin, or Drevin, we're, we're going to have to see as everything comes out. I don't think there's uh, any real specifics we can give you towards console just yet. No, we, ha we haven't announced all the platforms that we're going to be supporting. But obviously, when we, when we announce all the details, we'll have obviously the comprehensive list of times and dates and which platforms, etc. we're coming to. So uh, again, it's just on the console front, it is just watch this space. But hopefully, I'll be able to, as I said earlier, um, show off uh, at least one or two of the console builds in the near future to show uh, where we're up to with them. It's Burbud. He saw it. He says, <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, "That's the obvious one." Yeah, that, yeah exactly. no, we can, we, can, we can neither confirm nor deny. That's what the response is. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so they picked up on one of them. On one of them. There's more to find there, my friends. There's more to see. The um, question is, have they worked out where we're going to next? Where all these fish species are going to reside? Because, you know, if you look at the makeup of the selection, it gives you a reasonable clue. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just waiting for somebody to go, oh my god, I've got it! <laughs> yes, be safe, my friends. I know the weather's a little crazy all over the place right now actually uh, how are you guys doing in the uk i know that our, our, our counterparts in sweden had quite a bit of snow to deal with you guys have a lot over there no it's yeah. been rainy as always a little bit cold but nothing nothing to to cry home about it's been ridiculous over here uh, i as you said uh, sweden i live there 
Uh, and uh, we've had a ridiculous amount of snow. Like, it's been pretty silly. It's always really, really funny to me. Uh, I think you mentioned this kind of in Canada as well, but the country Swedes always make a lot of fun of the city Swedes um, for <laughs> being unable to handle snow, and they handle snow so much better than everyone else I've ever known in the UK. Uh, people in the UK, when the first flight comes down, people panic and no one can go to work. Uh, whereas here, we've had quite a lot of snow and people have managed to truck on relatively well. Um, yeah. I've, I've noticed that from everybody at work and chat with them and they're all showing up in the office and I'm sitting here and I'm watching like yesterday it was it was a skating rink outside of my house people were getting stuck and it's it, it's I'm at the top of a hill and it's mostly flat and they were spinning wheels unbelievable crazy speaking of which you think that's something we'd ever see different different weather seasons within the game love to be able to do that at some point um it's a what well, i will say it's a big technical hurdle for yes, us so, um, huge mm -hmm. i can imagine, I can um, imagine. however it, the value of it is is amazing yeah because you know representing um the the four different seasons and different weather conditions and um you know having that in different reserves and maybe that you know alters the makeup of the, which fish species are spawning at any given time and you can do ice fishing there's so much you can do with seasons and weather and things like that um so it will be a great addition but as as we all just kind of reaffirmed it's a huge job and yeah. um we don't know if we're going to commit to it but you know it's certainly the sort of thing we, we we're discussing and we're, we're talking about lots of different features and that's one of the things we see mentioned every now and again and it is it is a cool one for certain it is definitely something very cool to think about I, and I, I, not to interrupt, I, I really, I have to put this out there. It's when I see messages like this, I feel that, um, you know, quite often, it, it, a lot of you folks might not realize this, but the, the passion that comes from these gentlemen sitting here comes from our whole team and the amount of effort that's gone into the angler and where we're at now. Seeing a message like that, Mike Strong, thanks for all your hard work so far. Uh, it's something that I feel our team needs to see. It, it really is, and, and I, I can say, you know, pat on the back to everybody, uh, it, these gentlemen here and all of the rest of the team that is undoubtedly watching right now, um, you're all doing amazing work, and it's seeing this evolve into what it is even now compared to where we were at even at launch, just seeing how the game is, I mean, it, it has a life of its own, so um, kudos to you gentlemen, thank you for all the hard work that you're doing, and Mike, thank you for that, my friend thank you i know it's yeah, hard it's... to receive praise i know <laughs> but, <laughs> but you guys deserve it because you know it's easy it's a lot easier to focus on the, you know the the issues and the things that have happened along the way mm. um because that you know we see that we take that in and we, we we hold on to that right but you need to hear that good stuff too and it is very much appreciated by our community and all those that join every day so and if you all want to be a part of that community, make sure you have joined us on Discord where you can get all of your suggestions, all of your feedback seen. If you have any issues, our QA is in there uh, on the daily trying to help everybody out and squash anything as it arises. Uh, you'll get all the information across all of our socials, so make sure you're following us. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. I'm going to actually chop this just a couple minutes because i am dropping 46 percent of my packets at the moment which means the stream might crash <laughs> i hope it's been stable for everybody but hey guys thank you so much for coming out and uh i apologize for my issues on my end here no, it's been a pleasure as always and um hopefully next week uh again we'll have some some more devs on board and um maybe just maybe we'll show off some more new stuff looking forward to it thank you so much for having me on i'll be back to chat more for af when there's some more story stuff happening so uh yeah hopefully soon right on right on thank you once again and uh we'll catch you gentlemen very soon thank you chat much respect to you all we'll see you all throughout the community within the discord and we'll catch you again here next week keep your eyes peeled there's stuff coming here real real soon